Hey guys, Dude. welcome back to Seamus Jick Garage. Today, we're gonna be installing a new clutch on this DCT transmission. So, there's not that much documentation online on how to change the DCT clutch. It's actually pretty straightforward, so we're gonna go through the easy steps on how to do it. We're gonna be installing an ATA Autosport DCT, which is a full replacement clutch, meaning you don't have to take it apart to change the clutch discs and metals. It's literally just a full replacement unit. This makes it even easier. So if you can drop your transmission, you can definitely replace your clutch. So uh, the first thing to do is to remove this circlip. There's one giant circlip that holds this front cover on, and you're gonna wanna remove that. So all you're gonna do is grab a screwdriver, then hold, have a little bit of patience, unlike my, myself. This is very scientific. Yeah, then you just kind of get in there. I think I'm gonna need to take this jacket off yeah, you're gonna get it dirty. before I ruin it. You wanna throw my snap on sweatshirt on? Are you cold? No, no we're good. Okay. No free ads. My black sweatshirt with red lettering on it. Is there a professional tool to actually do this? No. Nice. Well, it's not like a normal circlip, right? It's just like there was a ring that was manufactured and then it cut and then it sprung out. It's called a snap ring, guys. But don't those normally have the two holes that you put that tool in? These are still a version of a snap ring. Remember when we told you it was so easy anyone could do it? Oh, close. Where's the bent screwdriver? I was just looking for it. This one's bent too though, so maybe it has some wisdom. All right, so I'm gonna bend this down and put your screwdriver on the top. Go, go, go closer. Got oh, you got it. Okay, you got it. Easy. All right, leave it like that for the video. You good? Yep. Oh, we're keeping all this. Oh, okay. They gotta see the struggle. They gotta right. know what they're getting into. Look at that trick. Two screwdrivers. Two screwdrivers, rings out. So go ahead and Put this somewhere safe. You don't I, lose it. I don't think you can find that at McMaster, so. The next step is to grab some M4 hardware and fit it into the threaded holes on the clutch cover. We're M4? Gonna... Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not M5? No. That's a tiny boy. Yep, and then basically what we're gonna do is just three, just three holes. We're just gonna evenly pull the cover off. It actually worked. Well, that was a good technique. All right, so okay, your... we're gonna put the, the pliers on. Grab your screw. And then put a screwdriver and pry against the housing. Wow, Stop. Mike, you're so good at your job. Now you can probably just pull. Yeah, so now the cover's just gonna come off. Note the arrow on the cover. That's gonna face up when you put it back in. So that's the factory clutch. Nothing special, nope. just a clutch. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Essentially, you wanna align the clutch, um, all the plates through these holes. People can take these on and off using like just a nail, but SSP sells this nice tool and we're professionals, so now we're all the way in. So now I'm gonna grab an adjustable and I'm gonna lift up the park lock, and I can twist the clutch off. So I'm gonna grab the adjustable for that. If only this thing had our park lock kit installed. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that next. So, park lock up. The DCT adjustable lock. Up. Adjustable on. Quite a, quite a few spins, but they're not tight on there very tightly, so. I was gonna say, you could probably just, yeah. Yep, all right. And You wanna make sure this bearing that seats right here stays on the shaft. You can see it right here. So you wanna make sure you keep this right there. 
Sometimes it comes off the clutch. You just want to watch out for that. It's crazy how complicated yet simple it is. Yeah. There's a lot going on, but like, it's basically a manual as I trip over and nothing and die. All right, now let's go ahead, open up our ATA clutch. This is a stage two. Wow. Like new. This one comes with this thing to align the pieces just like we just did. So I'll leave that in until we get it on. But uh, let's give her a once over. Oops. There goes your alignment tool. That's okay. I want to align. I'm going to make sure all these rings are even so it fits on nicely. So I just adjusted this so that it's all even. Hold on, let me see that. Let me get in there and move the fingers. So you can see I move it around. We're just gonna even that out. Oh, okay. So it fits on nicely the first try. Does it just stop by itself? Yep, it stops by itself, and then you're gonna give, it's the like, torque is like, you know, 20 Newton meters, so literally just give it like a, one uga, and you're done. So that's sweet, clutch is in. We're gonna do now, grab our cover, grab a rag, and just clean off the seal in case anything any junk got on there when you're pulling it out or putting it in, whatever. I'm gonna do the same for the inner seal and do the same for the outer surface. Okay. So remember the arrow right there faces up. It doesn't have to be exactly up, it just needs to be facing up in general. Scientific reasoning? So, the reason is, I'll tell you actually no, is to do with this thing. So basically it's just a, uh, just to make the oil stay in the right oh. spot for the bearing in the front. So. It's facing upish, you can face over here, you can face here, it doesn't matter. As long as it's not facing down, you're good. Screws out, put the circlip in, and your clutch will be upgraded. It's kind of it's really easy. It's literally right? like easier than changing a manual clutch. I know. The only thing easier is changing a torque converter, I think. Jesus, no, sometimes lining up the torque converter is a huge pain in the butt. That is true. Yeah. Oops. So clean this off again so it goes in nice and easy. Just make, go around the circle, make sure it's seated everywhere. This looks perfect, so your clutch swap is complete. That was pretty easy, actually. So changing your clutch is not hard on a DCT. Whether you're using HTG control or an OEM TCU in your OEM car, changing the clutch is not that bad. In, out, check out our website for ATA clutches. We carry both ATA and SSP. Well, especially with the ATA, right? Because changing clutches is not that yeah. easy if you use a stock one, yeah, but... So it is not I also the I that thing every step I take. Yeah, you're killing it. So, ATA comes with a complete basket you just yeah. put in. SSP, you're going to take these off and then disassemble the clutch, insert new plates, and then put it all back together. Um, it's so not that bad to do. That's just a big circlip as well? There's just tons of big circlips in here. Okay. The whole thing is big circlips. 
But uh, I mean, AT is just the next level. You get new clutch, new clutch everything, and keep your old one as a spare or whatever. You know, I don't know. Sell it? I don't know. You probably just sell it. Yeah. eBay. So, <laughs> yeah, this customer's gonna keep it as a spare. This is going in a twin turbo LS car. So now we set up for about a thousand horsepower using HG, HTG, and uh, out the door she goes. Easy money. Yep. Catch you on the next one. Peace.